Mr. President, uh, observers will be delighted to hear that the Presidency Office is cutting down the length of the Council conclusions. I understand that the uh, current draft, at least in French, is about 20 pages compared to the normal 60. Uh, they may not be so pleased to hear from Mr. Pertering that the European People's Party is meeting tomorrow to prepare the summit. They are so divided over issues like Turkey that when they prepare the summit, things never get better. In fact, I understand the Council Secretariat is preparing a letter saying, um, uh, please, if things don't get better soon, we may have to ask you to stop helping us. <laughs> President, I, I'd like to address three issues that are on the agenda for the summit. Enlargement, energy and migration. Uh, the Council will discuss enlargement and, no doubt, integration capacity. Perhaps we will find an agreement on where Europe ends, but I suspect that Jean Monnet might have been right when he told the predecessor to this assembly, the common assembly of the European coal and steel community in 1955, that a broader, when he spoke of a broader united Europe whose bounds are set only by those who have not yet joined. As the Chinese would put it rather more prosaically, the people who decide when the bus is full are those on the outside. I think it is important to discuss Turkey, and I praise the Commission and particularly the work of Commissioner Rehn in taking action, taking a firm, making a firm proposal before there was time for an anarchy of reaction from national capitals, a firm proposal that was supported by the foreign ministers and I hope will be taken up uh, by the Council. But let us then recognise that before we talk any more about enlargement, we are going to have to get our own constitutional arrangements sorted out because I don't think that the European people will want us to enlarge further without a clear uh, basis for the further development of our union. It's not going to be any good to think we can rewrite Nice for Croatia. Let's get the constitution sorted first. On energy, my great worry, President, President in office, is that the European Union is currently in danger of being held hostage. Held hostage to producers, whether they be in Russia or in North Africa or in Central Asia or perhaps even in Latin America uh, in terms of biofuels. What we urgently need to do in Europe is to cut consumption. Cut consumption by motor vehicles, by uh, electrical uh, equipment, cut consumption of heatings by better building design, cut the consumption of electronic equipment and increase production of safe, sustainable energy sources. Biomass, as proposed by the Commission. Renewables, perhaps with research moving to a hydrogen economy or looking into nuclear fusion. But we need to, to liberalise markets because one of the reasons why we don't have a proper energy policy in Europe is we don't have a proper liberalisation of the market. And I'm pleased that even the Social Democrats meeting in Oporto last week have finally recognised that competition is going to be important uh, for the future development. On migration, President, if I may just in finishing, the Commission and the Council are concentrating too much on the security aspects not on the economic or humanitarian aspects. You cannot talk of effective management of migration, of reinforcing Frontex and so on. The President said this is a long-term challenge, yes, but for five years the Council has done nothing about it and we must make progress. Finally, President, if the Council does come to discuss the site for who's going to host Galileo, where I understand that Prague and Valletta and Ljubljana all want it, why don't they follow the example of this wonderful institution and have a three-site operation? At least people looking at the site for Galileo would be able to say, eppure si muove. <laughs>